Welcome to the 2023 Missouri Star Quilt Company Advent Box, Jenny's Countdown to Christmas. There's 25 days here to open up. It retailed for $189. You can buy in the spring and do two payments or pay in full and get that reservation in early. They do sell out of these each and every year. So hopefully this video will help you decide if you want to pick one up in the future years. So day one is the Missouri Star Quilt Company Snuggly Charm Pack. So this is just a little teaser for what's to come in a future project, but day one, we start off with fabric. Day two, Snuggly Sweater Weather Pattern Template and the Fusible. So we can use that fabric from day one and apply it to day two to make this little sweater pattern. Day three, Missouri Star Ugly Pins. Oh boy, that, that was just from my notes. I'm sorry. Um, there's <laughs> a big reason why I get this box is that I really like um, teal and orange. Those are my favorite colors. And a lot of these branded things are themed in those colors. Well, these pins, uh, the orange is just making me uncomfortable. They're kind of flesh colored. I I don't I don't like the that color. I love the the pins. The pins are nice quality, the case is nice quality, but uh, this color combo wasn't my favorite. Missouri, Missouri Star Quilt Company plates is day four. A set of four plates, I'm gonna put mine up on the wall. I think they're very pretty. A twine Christmas tree project along with the silicone bases. Not a project that I'm super excited about. I'd rather be more sewing related, but this is like, you, you can use your scrap fabric, make these little trees, get some hot glue. Eh, it's a craft project. Day six is the cookie roller and recipe. So you can make little quilt blocks for your Christmas cookies. Day seven, the Kona Solids Charm Pack. There's four colors here. And it's another one of those little teasers for what's to come. Day eight is the starlight pattern and polytherm fleece. So we have this table runner pattern. And the idea is that we we'll use this heat resistant batting to put um, hot dishes on that table runner. That's kind of a neat idea. I mean, I'm probably gonna use the fleece for pot holders, but regular batting in this little table runner. Day nine, clip and sew light. Again, I really like this color. I don't have a product like that, but you can clip this and see your cross stitch, your applique, cute little gift. Day 10 is some cards. So they're all Missouri Star brand. Um, for me, I was missing two days in my box. Day 10 is one of them and they couldn't get me the filler on time. They had to wait for the vendor to make more. So that was kind of a bummer. Day 10, I didn't have this and it was it was pretty cute. Um, I, I like the cards too. I think that having little quilt blocks for the diamonds and spades and the hearts, it just cute set. Just a bummer that, you know, it wasn't in my initial purchase. Day 11 is the felt bird. So it's a kit for you to make little ornaments and it's this nice red and white applique project and you can do your embroidery floss decorative stitches. Day 12, the Missouri Star Quilt Company Iron Rest. We have a cute little phrase on it. It's in their teal color. Uh, not, not something that's utilized for me. I already have one that came with a different iron and it's something I kind of move around. I don't, and I just, yeah, I don't have a lot of use for that, but it is cute. So, I mean, I could put it up on the wall and I'd be happy with that. Day 13 is a vinyl sewing edge. I think it's funny that, you know, a lot of people open this and the first thought that they had was, well, I could just use masking tape. So it's even defensive on that on the back. It's like, it's better than masking tape. It doesn't leave a residue. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it, it seems helpful. Definitely not something I have already. Day 14 is the Andover Charm Pack. So that's another colorful charm pack collection of these different bright fabric fabrics and it's going to come up in a future project day 15 is that project patchwork bag is and all the the handles and the little metal clasp that, to go with it uh, i'm not really a bag maker i'm i'm starting to do it more so this will push me out of my comfort zone and it's a little quilty project i mean you can add as much quilting as you want i guess to the outside of it day 16 is these wet cloths dish, I guess, dishcloths. 
I still don't understand what this is. I've, I've had it for a while and I've been using it. It's reusable, but it tears down over time. It looks like it's something that's economically friendly, I guess. Um, I don't, I don't really, it, I mean, they're cute. They're pretty, uh, but that's a totally different item for me. And I don't know how to use it still. <laughs> Day 17, the Roxanne glue and poker. So these are tools that will be coming up in a future project. And that future project is day 18, the hexagon pillow pattern, hexi template, and the fusible shapes. So you use your template to cut out from your fabric that we got on day 14 and make this little shape on the pillow. You have all the fusible shapes, so you just fuse them onto that pattern that you cut out. Day 19, the quilt puzzles and pencil set. So it's a little book with all your different type of quilt puzzles. I wish it had some Sudoku in it though, because I think quilters are pretty mathematically inclined and enjoy a puzzle like that. So I was surprised to not see that in here, but it's still fun. I like word searches. I have a ton of fun doing puzzles. Um, I do Wordle every single day and the little pencil kit is just something cute to have along with it, but you can also use it in your quilting projects to mark those diagonal lines. Day 20, a crystal pin cushion project. It comes with a little dish, some embroidery floss, and then a bead to put it together. So the Missouri Star had the video for this and how to put this together. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to enjoy a little dish, maybe put some decorative buttons in it. It's a cute knickknack to have. Day 21 is stationary. You have these pads of paper that are magnetic, so they stick to the case. I took one out, put it on my fridge. I love that a lot. Day 22, um, I, I don't have the packaging up. This was the other day that was missing from my box. I was missing two days, day 10 and day 22. Day 22 was shipped separately and I got it by the 22nd. It's this little travel set. Uh, it has a miniature rotary cutter <laughs> within it the scissors. Uh, I I like the case. I, it's got a nice metal case. The thimble, I really do need a smaller size thimble, but this is miniature as well and not very functional. Uh, I, I'm starting to hand bind my, I'm starting to hand sew my binding and this didn't stay on my finger. So of all things to go miniature, I don't think you need to go, like <laughs> the thimble's are already pretty small. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this, and also that pale orange color is um, unsettling to me. Just, I, I don't like that color. <laughs> I don't know why it's upsetting me. <laughs> it's a me problem though. That's just a personal preference. Day 23 though is the mug. I loved last year's mug and two years ago they had a thimble mug the the mugs are top notch and another reason why it was hard for me to resist buying it for this year ah <sighs> i i love the mug and i'm really attached to it day 24 is the book by jenny doan's daughter hillary it's called the haunting of quilters square it's all right. I mean, the idea of having a book before Christmas, it's cute. And then lastly, the grand finale, day 25, is the sewing project case. You can put all your tools in this to go to your class or your retreat. It's got a, that tough fabric on the outside, kind of a canvas, like flat plastic canvas feel, but it's these nice bright colors. So that is the grand finale. So for next year, right now, I'm I'm still a little sour about my two days that were missing and one day that didn't arrive on time. I'm not inclined to repurchase for 2024, but we'll see. I'll, as I work through the projects, maybe I'll be warming up to it. There are more projects in it, but also I was really bummed that there were no quilt patterns for this year. Not a single one. I mean, we have wall hanging patterns, bag patterns, table runner patterns. That's all okay. But I really do like making these big quilts. And that's why I'm a big fan of Missouri Star Quilt Companies. And they give so much to us. There's lots of free patterns out there. But I was bummed that there wasn't a quilt pattern actually in the box for this year. We'll see how I warm up to it. But right now, I'm just not a big fan. And I love my trinkets. And we'll see where, <laughs> where I stand on this in a few months. 